Good morning, everybody. Have you ever done the math on God's mercy? Keep watching today, and we're going to have a look at God being the great multiplier. His kind of math is right up my alley. That is the multiplication I like. That's like going into the twelves, right? <laughs> when you hop on this morning, please tell me who you are, where you are from, what type of Shibboleth day you are having, and we have 78 days left in the 2020 edition of the Game of Life. These numbers are getting smaller, and I hope that you are multiplying what you are doing with them. So, big shout out this morning when they watch the Shibby Show to Rita and Mitch Harmon, who um, were friends of mine and still are friends of mine, but from a church where I was the principal, and I found out yesterday that they watched the Shibby Show in the mornings. So I just wanted to give a shout out. And Rita, I hope that you are really enjoying the program and that you're having great success. Good morning, Polly. Good morning, Charlene from Michigan. Good morning, Ann from Ball Ground. You should come see us again, Ann. Good morning, Diane from Columbus, Mississippi. Hey, everybody, what type of Shibboleth day y'all are having? Okay, Polly is from Dalton. Hey, everybody, thank y'all for those um, thumbs up. Thank you. Hey, Amy from Ohio, intermittent fasting day. That means that she's having a perfect day, but she's at least going 12 hours at some point, which could include sleeping, with, without eating. At least 12 is the minimum, but if you're doing a tiger day, which is a more advanced day, so if you're not there, don't worry about it. We got to live regular Shibboleth first before we move into intermediate and advanced knowledge. But tiger days are a little bit longer and have other um, parts to it. Good morning, Angie from Center, having another intermittent fasting day, enjoying the lemon water. Um, good morning, Pamela, having a tiger 16 from Alpharetta. So she that means that she's getting a devotion in and also eating from the tiger food list and walking. Good morning, Michelle from Sea Island, Georgia. She already had breakfast and planning for a perfect day. Remember, Michelle was going on a work trip. And so, or I think a work trip, I'm not sure. But she's going on a trip, so she had prepared for that. Good morning, Ron from Lilburn, having a perfect day. Good morning, Alice Bolton from Staley, North Carolina, having a Tiger 16 or a Lion Day. She hasn't decided. Good morning, everybody, from Smyrna, intermittent fasting today, and back in EFB today. For those of you that are not watching, I mean, not, you are watching. For those of you that don't know what that means, DeAnda is going to be back in efficient fat burning today. After you have a holiday, it just takes two perfect days to get back into EFB. During those two holidays, I mean, excuse me, during those two perfect days, your body is getting rid of insulin that was uh, brought during a holiday, and it's also uh, getting rid of its glycogen stores, which are easily accessible sources of energy. But in order to efficiently burn fat, we don't need to have given our body easily accessible sources of energy. So over those two days, that's getting out of our body. Hey, Kathy from Newmarket, Alabama, having a perfect day. Thank you for sharing. Pamela, y'all, that share button is in the bottom left-hand corner of your phone. If you're on your phone, you can also find it on your computer. You don't even have to type anything. You just hit the blue share now button after you have hit the share button in the left-hand corner. Good morning, Sharon. Having a perfect day. Hey, Amber from Ella J. And Polly is having lunch with her son. Well, that's a treat. Enjoy that holiday. Hey, good morning, Charlene from Dallas. Thank you for sharing. Marla from Canton did a Hemp and Harmony yesterday. That is one of our wow challenges. Perfect today. Got her 25-pound badge this week. Way to go. Um, can't wait to get to maintenance or can't get to maintenance fast enough. I understand that. Amber's having a perfect day. Vicki Adams, hey there. Intermittent fasting day. Tammy from Ohio, a perfect day. And yes, okay, that's what I thought you were on a work trip. So, awesome. Thank y'all for joining. Thank you so very, very much. Um, so, I had a holiday yesterday. I went, but I knew it was coming. Good morning, Diane. Having a perfect day and we'll share. Thank you so much. Thank you. I had a holiday yesterday, but it was a planned holiday um, with the All Roof Solutions. We had our core values meeting yesterday morning and we were having a Waffle House food truck come. And then I had a Kennesaw Business Association luncheon yesterday. And so I thought, ooh, great day to have a holiday. 
holiday breakfast and holiday lunch. It was really, really good. But I do want to say that um, at lunch, I still chose not to have the pasta. So I still had salmon. I just chose not to have the pasta because I don't really need to have to deal with that. And, but I did have some cannellonis and uh, those were worth dealing with. You know, you have to make these decisions, right? But when I got back home, I had um, some apple cider vinegar and some Sprite Zero because the apple cider vinegar will help regulate blood sugar a little bit. And I figure, you know, anything I can do that's, uh, that's healthy for me that also um, regulates that blood sugar and could possibly, I still trust the two-day system, you know, to get back into EFB. But if that apple cider vinegar can help me a little bit, then I want to do that. So I did that yesterday to bring that blood sugar spike down. Uh, we did play cornhole last night, and we lost in the first game of the tournament. I actually played better than my husband, which is very, very surprising. And that's why we lost, because I was playing better than him. I don't know why his bags were hitting at the end of the board. So guess who's with me? Just put her feet up here. She just put her feet up. She just, why are they talking? Why is she talking to them without me? Hey, Daisy. <laughs> staring contest. Um, so we had fun. We had fun playing cornhole. And the reason I keep looking down at this is because I made a script because I'm doing this little challenge, um, an online Facebook challenge called Up Level Your Video Editing. And normally I just put these things out there because um, I don't really have time to do that. But I, I'm a full participator in things that I decided I'm going to participate in. And so I'm going to take this video and before I put it up to YouTube, I'm going to make some little edits, which is going to be really, really cool. So I did hit the bags in the hole three times in a row though. And our, um, our opponents were impressed with that. And so was I. Um, so that was fun. So on our worksheet today, we are going to fill in some superfoods and fibrous carbs. So what I'd love for you to do is, again, it's going to be kind of difficult to see them. I'll hold this back here. Maybe you can see. Let's see. Let me see. I can't see if I'm showing it. Okay. Something. Let's pick something from the category two and the category six and make three meals. Now, I always focus on the six first. I don't know why. But, so pick something from the superfood column here and put it with something from the fibrous carb column. And the quicker y'all can do that, the quicker I can put this down. <laughs> can y'all see it okay to do it? So pick something, oh, there we go. Something from the category six and something from the category two. And let's make three meals real quick. Okay, we got pintos and okra. That sounds good. All right. Two more. Two more. We got another pintos and okra. Pintos and broccoli. Peanut butter and bread. We could add a condiment and make a peanut, peanut butter and jelly sandwich, can't we, Polly? That better, Christine? Okay, Tammy. Tammy saying to sprinkle hemp flakes on broccoli. Tammy, I'm gonna have to just make one edit to that. It to have a superfood, it would be the hemp hearts. But I do like that idea a lot, Tammy. I really, really do. Pintos and broccoli, navy beans and Brussels sprouts. So really, this is where we're getting our beans and greens, right? Peanut butter and celery, good. Okay, all right, all right, good. We got some. We got some for that. Um, we'll fill that in. I didn't get yesterday's filled in either because um, I didn't have time and I didn't get the video in yesterday either, but I don't have anything to do tonight, so I will get those things done tonight. That's awesome. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna learn about God's math um, in just a second. But this morning I'm headed to a networking meeting and then I have an individual networking meeting with someone after that. Julia is going to be headed to the house and she's going to be working on a jewelry sample sale for me because I've got hundreds of pieces of jewelry that need to leave. 
Um, and she's going to be doing that. So I'll be excited to have her. She is actually the best assistant. Um, and I miss having her at home. So I'm glad that she's going to be, uh, I'll be working, but just knowing that she's at my house, um, on my computer doing work for me is going to be awesome. And you know what? She's always worked for me and has been such a great, um, uh, helper. I bought her a Shibboleth membership this week. So not that she needs it or anything, but you know what? Don't we want to know this information before we need it? Isn't that the best time to know this information? So that um, she can know this and teach it to her family and her children. And really, it's I didn't teach her this as a child, and so I'm certainly hoping that she can learn something and make it useful for her family. So I'm gonna try to try to also get in my vote tonight if possible. I'm thinking about just going and get in line at five o'clock because if you're in line at seven when they close, if you still happen to be there, they uh, they have to let you in. So all right, so let's hear all about God's math. Mercy multiplied is the name of today's devotion. It is from Jude. I don't read many things from Jude. Go on, Daisy. Go on. Jude one two. Mercy unto you, and peace and love be multiplied. I would love to just be able to learn to say that greeting. Then just have it roll off my tongue. I'm going to practice that. Have you ever done the math on God's mercy? If so, you've probably figured out that it just keeps multiplying itself out over and over again. We mess up. He extends mercy. We mess up again. He extends mercy. He pours out mercy once again in the same way. Peace, love, and joy are multiplied back to us. Praise the Lord. God's mathematics work in our favor. I like God's math. I do. I do. I'm thankful for his mercy. So very, very thankful for that. Oh, I curled my hair this morning, but I don't like the way it looks very, very, very much. I was going to put it up in a ponytail. And when I put it up in the ponytail, it made my neck cold because it's cooler outside. So I put it back down. Does anybody else ever do that or think that's funny? So, yeah, yes. Angie said it makes her think of the song Multiplied. That's right. That's great. Okay, so as you know, we have a share, a current special going on. And I mentioned to you yesterday that special's going up. So, Please share it with your friends and family. We want you to share this with them, okay? Don't think it hurt, you're hurting us by getting in at such a great deal because we need people to join right now before uh, prices change because when prices change, a few less people may sign up because they don't like the price, okay? So I need you to go ahead and join. You, just, you can send them your referral link. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Alice. Thank you. Um, you can send them your referral link. If you do not know how to find your referral link, say that right here. I'll make a video and we'll post it and I'll make sure that you know how to find that. And then just tell them to enter into the discount code, the word KIM, K-I-M, all capital letters, okay? When you leave this broadcast, please head straight over to the website and declare your day in the journal. Share something from the website, if you don't mind. You get two tickets in for the drawing for doing that. Tag me. Remember to mark this video as watched once it ends up in your journal. And if you're watching on replay, please type in hashtag Shibboleth for his glory. Yes, I'll, I'll teach y'all how to find your referral link. Um, so if you, what time is it? I got a minute. If you're on your phone to find your referral link, you go to the Shibboleth site. Now on your phone, if you touch this black button right up here, oops, I touched, you touch that black button, do you see how that gave a drop down menu? Those are some other features. So this right here, you're gonna click on referrals. There was a referrals one. So right now it shows up to that. You're gonna just scroll up on your phone until you come to this little pink area. Y'all see that pink area? Right below it, it says your sponsor link to use for rewards. So that's it. That's how you find it on your phone. On the computer, right underneath your profile picture, 
Uh, there's a blue drop down, not a drop down, there's a blue, blue static menu. I think it says referrals, you click there. There's two tabs at the top of that page, so you may have to switch to one tab, but you're still gonna look for that little pinkish area and your referral link will be just back there. Amber, just message me, okay? We'll look at you and see when you purchased. All right, okay, y'all have a blessed day and I'll see you later.